Hello, uh, my name is Hal Schiff, and I'm the inventor of Windmill, the revolving easel. And here it is, and uh, today I'll demonstrate uh, how it works and what it's all about. Essentially, it takes a canvas and allows the artist to move it to their most comfortable uh, brush or palette knife stroke. So, and let me explain. It, um, the easel positions either in the vertical position like it does, and you can adjust the height of the, um, of the canvas by uh, placing this pivot assembly in the different uh, holes that are drilled into the uh, vertical support here. It also allows the um, artist to go from, let's say, a pastel position where the pastels are dropping down or down to the um, horizontal position for a watercolor artist who would be also able to rip their uh, uh, paint onto the canvas. Now, it, um, it works in this fashion. The end brackets attach to the um, stretcher frame, and they can do it in one of two ways. If you're going to embellish the edge of the, um, of the canvas, you can screw the um, uh, end bracket on with uh, sheet metal screws. Um, the brackets go into the, into the arms, and it automatically adjusts to the um, size of the canvas on the knobs to hold it onto the arms. Now, the canvas is balanced because the arms and the end brackets are working in conjunction so that no matter how large your canvas, you're always going to be balanced. This pivot assembly is sold separately. If you have a traditional easel that is expensive and you want to add this functionality to it, you can buy just the pivot assembly alone and um, get the functionality of the um, revolving portion. This easel allows for an unob unobstructed surface and edge for painting purposes. So you can easily embellish your edges without touching them. Many times I've, with a traditional easel, I've had to make all types of contorted um, uh, physical stances in order to do the edges. So this is an easy way to do it. Also, please note that um, for people who have physical uh, uh, disabilities or challenges, um, this easel lends itself to a, a more maneuverable way to paint. So uh, from that perspective, it also performs a, a very good function. It has a damper for smooth lowering so that it doesn't just fall down. We can also attach the end brackets to wood panels, which I know a lot of, a lot of artists use. And so that could be used here, and it would be balanced. For watercolors, this is the recommendation. You take a piece of masonite. You take stretcher frame end pieces, you glue or nail them to the masonite. You draw lines for centering. You put your watercolor paper on, you tack it down, you're all set to go. It turns out our location today is at this, the Theater by the Tracks in St. Mary's, Georgia. The um, St. Mary's Children's Theater is putting on a play uh, called Susical. As you can see, our backdrop has been painted. We're just about done. We need one more um, set that's movable. So we're going to take the windmill easel and we're going to paint that movable set. And this is what we did. We took a piece of two-inch styrofoam that we got at the local hardware store. We glued these uh, wooden slats on, and we did it for three reasons. One, so we can attach the end brackets. 
Two, it kind of stiffens the styrofoam. And three, it provides a, uh, another means to carry the styrofoam. So, so uh, for you set production people out there, uh, the windmill easel makes it easier to uh, paint instead of standing on ladders and kneeling down to do your set. Uh, you might consider this. Alrighty, we're done with the pink. Now, you'll notice that there is some wobble in it uh, when you have a large canvas on like that. But as you can tell, it's being held on uh, very tightly by the, um, by the end brackets and the arms. And it's not going to come off. Yeah, I believe that this windmill easel can really add value to the set production people at, the, um, at theaters all over because it gives you total flexibility in painting your sets. But just keep in mind that the windmill easel uh, can accommodate a number of features that artists using traditional easels um, have a hard time with from the perspective of if you want to move the canvas, if you want to revolve the canvas, you wind up taking it off the, the traditional easel. With the windmill easel, it gives you the flexibility to, um, to position the canvas any way you want. And uh, thank you for watching. And you set people out there who paint sets, you might want to consider this. Anyway, thank you.